he celebrated his 70th birthday this year, but Prince Charles showed his devotion to royal duties as he completed 507 engagements this year compared to his son Prince William's 220. And other senior members of the royal family, including the Princess Royal, the Earl of Wessex and the Queen, showed their steady work ethic as they carried out a greater share of the official public duties than younger members in 2018. Although being second in line to the throne, the Duke of Cambridge, 36, carried out fewer engagements in 2018 than most older royal family members and less than half the number of his father Prince Charles. And just seven members of the royal family completed more days than the Prince of Wales, including the Queen and her cousin the Duke of Gloucester, 74, according to the annual compilation of royal engagements by Tim O'Donovan. But Prince William did carry out one more engagement than the Duchess of Cornwall who was once described as the laziest woman in Britain. Despite celebrating her 92nd birthday in April, the Queen showed no intention of slowing down and completed 283 official engagements throughout the year. The monarch increased her workload by 25% this year, according to Right Royalty. The Queen's poignant moments of 2018 included attending the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday, sitting in the front row at London Fashion Week and Princess Eugenie's wedding in October. Despite the Duchess of Sussex only becoming a royal in May after her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan has already completed more royal engagements than the Duchess of Cambridge. The Duchess of Sussex made her first official royal engagement just three days after her nuptials when she attended Prince Charles' 70th birthday celebrations in Buckingham Palace. She has since completed a tour of Australasia where she announced her pregnancy. Meghan's working days are expected to increase next year, as the Queen is expected to pass along her patronages to other family members. The Duchess of Cambridge carried out the least number of engagements than any other members of the royal family. However Prince William and Kate have been raising a family, with the Duchess taking maternity leave in March before giving birth to Prince Louis the following month. She returned to official duties in October on a visit to the Sayers Croft Forest School and Wildlife Garden at Paddington Recreation Ground in West London. And with three children, the Duke and Duchess appear to have been spending more time with their family while the children are young. Princess Anne, 68 was the crown the hardest working royal for the third year running with a total of 518 royal engagements. This year, her engagements included visiting Chile for the 200th anniversary of the Navy earlier this month and observing the annual census of the Swan population on the River Thames in July. The Earl of Wessex and Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, carried out more than younger royals Prince Harry and Prince William, despite the brothers' fame. The younger royals instead have chosen to focus on fewer projects that they are more involved in, including their Heads Together Mental Health Initiative Prince Harry organizing the Invictus Games. The Duke of Edinburgh stepped down from official duties last year and has pared back his public appearances however he did take part in six royal engagements this year. Prince Edward took over from Prince Philip as head of the Duke of Edinburgh Award scheme after his retirement. He was not present at the service at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday, missing the ceremony for the first time in 20 years. However, he was spotted leaving Buckingham Palace following Prince Charles' 70th birthday celebrations earlier this month. And since his retirement, Philip has had more time to enjoy carriage driving on the grounds of Windsor, which has been one of his favorite pastimes since the 1970s.